The overall goal of this procedure is to identify and surgically remove the adult zebrafish kidney, which can be used for applications such as cell isolation, transplantation, and expression studies of kidney and or blood cell populations. This is accomplished by first selecting a three to six month old adult zebrafish for dissection. The animal is then sacrificed in 0.2% tricane, with euthanasia being confirmed when the gills stop moving and the heart stops beating. The third step of the procedure is to use dissection scissors to open the abdominal cavity and to remove the organs located within it. The final step of the procedure is then to use fine dissection forceps to remove the kidney from the underlying connective tissues. Ultimately, gene expression profiles of hematopoietic or kidney cell subsets, isolation of specific cell populations through whole mount in situ hybridization, immunohistochemical analyses, and or fluorescence activated cell sorting can be performed on the isolated organ tissue and or cells. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the dissection steps are difficult to learn because the zebrafish kidney is a delicate organ that's anchored to the body wall via dense connective tissue. The implications of this technique can be used in the therapy or diagnosis of kidney and blood diseases in humans, as biological processes are highly conserved between zebrafish and higher mammals. Numerous molecular genetic tools have been developed in recent years in the zebrafish, making it a useful animal model.